Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Nobel Prize winners related to medicine and physiology. Okay, you know that already Kathleen Carrico and Drew Wiseman, these are the two people they were awarded with the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology category. So before we discuss further, first let us see the syllabus mapping, then we will discuss the video components. First we will see the syllabus mapping. With respect to syllabus mapping, this is related to Gender Studies Paper 3 that is Science and Technology. Whereas in terms of the video components, we are going to discuss about why it is in news and what is this mRNA, why mRNA vaccines, why not the other vaccines. Here mRNA stands for messenger RNA and this messenger RNA will transfer the information from the DNA to the cytoplasm. Tell me students, inside the cell which area consider as protein factory, which is considered as protein factory. So put your answer in the comment section and why their research is very crucial during the COVID-19 and what kind of research done by the Carico, the, I mean Carico as well as the Drew Wiseman, what is their contribution, Catalina Carico as well as Drew Wiseman, what is their contribution and finally in the end of this video we are going to discuss about history related to Nobel Prize. So for how many Indians been awarded with the Nobel Prizes and in which areas Nobel Prizes will be given that information we will cover here. So now without any further delay first let us see why it is in news. It is in news because these two people, Catalin Carrico and Drew Wiseman, they were awarded with the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for the year 2023. And their main contribution is about the development of mRNA vaccines. Actually, mRNA vaccines were known for 1980s, but here the large scale production was never implemented. For the first time during the COVID-19, uh, during the COVID-19 time, we don't have much time. Normally to produce vaccine, you, we will use the cell culture, but it takes a lot of time. Because of the lack of availability or, you know, like, I mean, lack of time, they use this mRNA technology. By using this mRNA technology, they are able to produce vaccine at a mass scale. That is the reason for their contribution, this Nobel Prize given to these two people for their contribution during the COVID-19. Here, how these mRNA vaccines will be developed? normally so mrna is all about what messenger rna it takes information from the dna to the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm that is in the ribosomes that dna information will be decoded okay the decoded information will help in the production of proteins proteins will be synthesized in response to that proteins antibodies will be produced and once antibodies are produced inside our human body whenever the pathogen infects us our immune system will fight and we will get protection from the pathogen. That is how this mRNA vaccines works. Here mRNA stands for messenger RNA. Messenger RNA involves in where protein synthesis. Inside the cell, ribosomes is a place where protein synthesis occurs. That is the reason ribosomes popularly known as protein factories. The process through which the information, the DNA information present in the mRNA translated into protein that is known as transcription. Transcription is nothing but the DNA information it will be translated into the proteins that is known as transcription. What is the mRNA role? mRNA always carry the information from the DNA which is present inside the nucleus. This information will be transferred to the cytoplasm. That means the human genome will be decoded into proteins only with the help of the mRNA. Without the mRNA, the gene expression can never be possible. So this is how this mRNA vaccine will work. How the mRNA will vaccine? So first, what we will do? We will identify the pathogen which is causing the disease. Then outside of the pathogen on the cell surface, we will identify one protein related to the pathogen. We will identify the DNA of the protein. From the DNA, we will make mRNA. Once we make mRNA, we give that mRNA to the humans by keeping that mRNA in a fatty fatty acid particles. Once we give this mRNA to the humans, human cell identify this mRNA and it produces proteins. In response to that protein, our human body responds by producing the antibodies. So antibodies will be there in our human body. In future, whenever pathogen attacks, these antibodies gives protection to us. This is how this mRNA vaccine works. Okay. 
so mrna vaccine the works by introducing piece of mrna that corresponds to viral protein and this triggers the antibody production that gives that gives the boost to the immune system and once this antibodies are produced whenever real pathogen infects us what will happen this antibodies will join with that patho this antigens the pathogen they bind into particles and those particles will be attacked by lymphocytes as well as the monocytes that is how immune system works you know students traditionally immunity is two types okay normally immunity is two types you have to understand the immunity which acquired naturally that is known as innate immunity innate immunity and the immunity which can be acquired through vaccine that is known as acquired immunity acquired immunity we are discussing about the acquired immunity acquired immunity we are discussing this can be achieved through vaccines previously vaccines used to be the dead pathogen we will kill the pathogen and the dead pathogen will be given to the administrated into the human bodies human being and human being will produce antibodies the second type we use is inactivated inactivated pathogen inactivated pathogen best example is polio inactivated pathogen now we are talking about the mrna vaccine mrna vaccine this is the third category these are some of the popular categories among the vaccines that you have to understand next how the mrna vaccine made like i said earlier first step we will identify the protein outside the pathogen then in that protein we will identify which i mean which genome in the dna coding that protein then from the dna we will separate the mrna and that mrna will be administered so here you have to understand what is the main difference between the mrna vaccine and the traditional vaccine traditional vaccine it is very slow as well as more difficult to produce a right amount, a right type of the protein whereas here this is faster as well as we can produce whichever the protein we want okay whichever the protein we want because here we are using the mrna because it is a very fast one during the covid-19 pandemic time when time is not available much during that time we were able to produce vaccine at a mass scale by using the mrna technology so time availability already we covered and this mrna technology is not new it is available since 1980s but we never used this for the mass production of the vaccine so carico and wesman their contribution is all about applying mrna technology for this covid-19 vaccine so this is about the mrna technology in development of the vaccine as well as the nobel prize in medicine and physiology now we will try to understand nobel prize in general this nobel prize it is related it is created this prize is established by swedish chemist alfred nobel alfred nobel is very popular for invention of dynamite then after the invention of dynamite he realized that what kind of damage dynamite can done to the world after realizing that he made a will that after his death all his property all his revenue will be used because by that time he was having some intellectual property rights patent rights all that revenue will be used and that revenue that money generating out of that revenue that will be given in the form of the nobel prizes that was there in his will so this nobel prize award started in 1901 later nobel prize in economics also added in 1969 if you remember 1969 is the time when indira gandhi a former prime minister he done the nationalization of 14 banks isro also established in 1969 apart from that in 1969 neil armstrong and edwin burs they set foot on moon as well so these are some of the remarkable incidents happened in 1929 nobel prize it will be awarded in following categories physics chemistry physiology or medicine both same literature economics and peace you know students in any particular year a nobel prize will never be distributed more than three individuals so maximum it will be distributed among three individuals but it can be distributed between the individual as well as organization that can be possible in the organization any number of people can be present but if you are giving this award to individuals it cannot be distributed among more than 3 people that you have to understand these nobel prizes they won't be awarded in posthumous manner that means after the death of the person we won't give this prize by the time of this prize is announcing if the person is alive later he died unfortunately then 
the that award ceremony will go as usual and the award will be given to those kind of people and self nomination is not applicable whoever been you know like considering for this award those will get the invitation and interested one they can apply for this award self nomination is only available to the nobel peace prize then indians notably so far nine indians indians are the persons of indian origin these are the nine indians who were awarded with nobel prize you know that for the first time the first asian who got the nobel prize it was ravindranath tagore in the literature category he was the first person to get nobel prize in literature out of the europe recently we discussed about ravindranath tagore as well when his uh, you know like his school shantini ketan it was identified as a unesco world heritage site tell me students how many how many unesco world heritage sites are there in india then some of the notable personalities from india who missed out from the nobel prize mahatma gandhi meganath saha related to physics satyendranath bose physics chandrashekar raman that is related to physics and homi baba these are the homi baba related to you know that's related to this nuclear science so these are the people who missed out the nobel prizes and who gives this nobel prize awards according to the will of the is alfred nobel these nobel prizes will be given by following institutions physics and chemistry royal swedish academy of science physiology or medicine karolinska institute literature swedish academy nobel peace prize norwegian nobel institute economic one swegs riks bank so these are the institutions which awards nobel prizes now i'll focus on the yesterday's video question what is the correct chronological order of movement led by gandhi ji what is the correct chronological order keda satyagraha 1917 i mean 1918 khilafat 1920 and non cooperation individual civil disobedience it was in 1934 this is the right chronological order now we'll see today's video question today's video question in a study which cells are found in covid 19 patients bode well for long term immunity so in a study which cells are found in covid 19 patient bode well that means they present a higher higher in number for long term immunity means discuss the benefits and effectiveness of mrna vaccines what are the benefits this is today's main question now as we reach to the end of this video we we'll do the quick revision in this video we discussed about nobel prize in medicine as well as the physiology i mean who awarded with this prize and what is their contribution what is the role of mrna technology in the development of covid-19 vaccine and the journey of nobel prize we discussed this is a detailed analysis regarding the nobel prize in medicine and physiology